Hey everybody, it's Sir Tap Tap for your slightly late weekly update. I'm not quite in the hang of these yet. Um, as far as the Abyss Room front, still no real news. Um, it's apparently it's officially been 110 days since the last event. So um, they, assuming the game is not completely abandoned, they've really intensely dropped the ball. Um, even when events were much less frequent, that's about the the the. Uh, the longest gap we've ever had since uh, the first year, really. So that's pretty bleh. And there's been almost no communication. Somebody, somebody uh, apparently said that the devs said we'll have soon in response to somebody asking about an event. So uh, when there's a slow rollout, they always start on Monday. Um, and so by now we would have heard about it. So it's definitely not this week. Well, I mean probably not this week. Uh, falling on past patterns, so I'm thinking next week at the very earliest, which would be an insanely late Halloween event That's basically like an, a November event event, but uh, I don't know I really think so something really bad went down while they were trying to develop fresh water and just It's completely destroyed them. I don't even know um, But yeah, that's that's pretty much it for Abyssrium still nothing um, on the food fantasy side of things um, I am told that the pizza event starts tomorrow. I'm still so upset that pizza is like, apparently like, one of the super most overpowered souls in the game. Because it's like... Oh, my, my favorite food soul is... McDonald's, you know? My, my best food soul is... Is like, you know, a Pringle. It just... It, it just does, doesn't really feel as interesting as a lot of the other things, but I mean... I guess it's exotic if you're not in a place where you have lots of pizza, which I'm not I'm not sure what place that would be, but there's probably some place where, where pizza is not like a common thing. And I know there's like quality pizzas and stuff, but it's just like... <sighs> he doesn't look like a pizza either, he looks like, like a, a mariachi band guy, it's weird. Anyway, uh, pizza is apparently a really strong attacker soul, and I will be streaming, I guess, tomorrow night at about... 7 or 7.30. I actually have a premiere of a game that I've really been looking forward to publishing. Um, Toilet in Wonderland is this really surreal game that um, is a lot better than it sounds, and um, I think people really like that. So that's premiering tomorrow at 6 p.m. my time. Um, you can go to my channel page to see exactly when and get a reminder. I'll start the live stream pretty much right after that is finished. Um, the next, like, half hour mark after that is done, I'll start that. So... That's that's when to expect it, Parker Honey. I'm trying to do stuff. Um, what are you eating? There's no food. What what did you eat? Guys, there's no food on my desk. What did you eat? Cats are mysterious and disturbing creatures. Um, yeah. So, pizza event, and it's apparently a gem grind. So, be prepared for that. And cheese will also be. Available finally cheese you can listen to outside I'm excited for cheese, but cheese you can apparently get for free. You can't one star her. It's um, It sounds like cheese is basically a wheel event kind of like the uh, the chocolate skin thing We had to spin a wheel and you got a random prize from the wheel um, And then you got a couple free tries a day and the rest you can buy with uh, With crystals and cheese apparently With even average luck you should be able to get get her zero star without paying um, to get stars on her, you will need to spend some gems. Um, I've heard to zero star pizza, you need something like 1,500 gems. So pizza is very much a burn your gems event, which is why I've been saving and why I've been recommending people save. Um, it, it does seem like good old pizza. My mouse feels weird. I, I, I had to wash my mouse pad and maybe it was like adding resistance. Oh, it just feels a little bit too loosey-goosey. I might have to adjust it. Um, anyway. I'm kind of excited for those. Also, there's going to be a rotating ultra rare pool. Um, I haven't seen this. This is if you open up the game, this is not yet in the, the the update things. But I think this was mentioned on Facebook or something. I heard it from Blue in my Discord, and Blue is usually correct about such yeah. matters, so I do believe him. Um, but uh, yeah. So looking forward to pizza, but there's all oh, oh, there's gonna be a rotating pool of ultra rares every two days It cycles between ultra rares um, One of it's for raindrop 
one's for crab lung bao, one is for double scoop, and one is for toso. Personally, I'm gonna try and one star toso, because I really like using her. I have a lot of use for her, but she's getting harder and harder to use without one star because of the level cap bullcrap. Um, so I would like to one star her, and then I want to save up the rest for caviar, who should be appearing in November, apparently. So... Basically, save your embers, but it's safe to spend your gems. Um, Pizza is apparently extremely good. Highest attack in the game. Um, he has a basic skill that does a lot of damage based on his attack stat. And he prevents healing with his skills, which is a really interesting and unique power. So he's pretty critical for um, a lot of Cavicombs crap. Potentially very useful for showdowns and story mode as well. And he has just great damage in general and a great basic skill, so he should be good even in guild boss. Um, he's one of fairly few souls that is really... sounds like he's good at everything, so I'm gonna try to at least get him to two stars myself. I'm not 100% sure how the amount works, but we'll, we'll see in the live stream. And uh, shout outs and thanks to Blue for uh, figuring out a lot of this stuff. I don't tend to look up spoilers myself, um, so I only really look, start to look into an event once it's been announced. But, uh, yeah. Also, in the other, in the Japanese and Chinese versions, you can now hide the global chat because it's absolute dog poop garbage. Um, and so hopefully we'll get that, the next maintenance that the game has. So the timing for that is after, like in the morning well, after tonight's reset, it, it'll be maintenance. And so no stream tonight, stream tomorrow night, Tuesday. 6 p.m. Central, um, just, there's, there'll be a thing on my channel that'll show you exactly when. Um, and I'll toss a link in the description, I guess. Rex, hmm. I don't know exactly when I'll stream, but I'll try to estimate it. Because I, actually, let me see. So I want to stream... So premiering at 6 p.m., I got an hour and 10 minute video. So I guess at 7.30 is when I'll start the stream, because that'll be after the reset. That'll be a good time to start things off. So, alright. I, I guess I will go ahead and schedule that. So there'll be a link in the description to the stream. Uh, I, <laughs> sorry for being disorganized. I This kind of blindsided me. I, I didn't know most of this was happening. I, I was expecting more... Like, forewarning. Uh, and there's also going to be a thing where you just get free prizes for, um, for logging in for 16 days. That's the trick-or-treat thing. That is the one thing that's actually already announced. The update schedule in this game is kind of a mess, unfortunately. It's like... It's, it's the opposite problem of Abyssria. There's just a constant torrent of events, and you get fairly little warning of them. But at least we all get them at the same time. Unlike a certain fish-based game. Yeah. <laughs> I've gotten several comments um, from people that are like, Wow, I haven't played this game in ages, and I suddenly came upon this video. I'm like, wow. I'm surprised you stuck with it. This sounds like a pain in the butt. Good for you. <laughs> it's like, yeah. But I don't, I don't stick with Abyssrium for Abyssrium's sake. I stick with it for the players. Uh, I want to help, you know, there's a lot of people out there that, that have told me, you know, they only enjoy the game because I've been able to help them out, so... I want to help people even if the game's kind of a train wreck. Anyway, um, that's Food Fantasy for the week. Um, how have I been? I've been pretty good. Uh, I had to squeegee my basement for the, like, 10,000th time. Um, my landlords are idiots and don't know how to fix a leak that I've told them many, many times about. Um, hopefully they'll actually fix that soon. They actually did fix, like, two things, one of which did not actually end up fixing the leak. Um, they fixed a ceiling I've been complaining about for a very long time. Um, hopefully they will accelerate the fixes that have, should have been happening a long time ago. Um, otherwise things have been pretty good. I've been trying to eat a bit healthier, but trying to cut down on some unnecessary expenses. Um, just been catching up on some games. Spooktober has been really fun with the Spooktober live streams. If you missed my streams, if you only watched the Food Fantasy or Bistream streams, uh, I'd check out my other streams too. It's a lot of fun. Um, a lot of people only watch games they, you know, they're familiar with and stuff. But uh, personally, I'm all about like, ex you know, experiencing new things. And uh, watching a live stream is, you know, a lot lower intensity than, you know, trying the game yourself. Maybe, you know, having to buy it first and whatever. Um, so I would really say if you enjoy if you enjoy the chill atmosphere of my other streams of my food fantasy and whatever uh, Check out check out the other streams I put the VODs for all of my stuff are always on my channel Usually within a day of the uh, stream going I pretty much publish them as soon as it's possible Let me uh, select my restaurant. I kind of forgot to do that um, Parker thanks for getting a tail in my face 
While we're talking about Halloween events, um, apparently Star Ocean Anamnesis is having their Halloween event uh, starting tomorrow, so really looking forward to that. Um, I won't be able to stream that because I'll be streaming. I have two videos already coming out tomorrow at right at that time, or one stream and one video. So that, that's kind of me for the day. I don't know if I'll be able to stream. Uh, I guess let me know if you'll be interested in seeing the... the, um, the, uh, the talker, was not he? Um, it, let me know if you're interested in seeing Star Ocean Anonesis, I guess. Um, Makai Wars has been pretty good lately too. They've been doing lots of improvements to uh, kind of fix up the game and make it more fun. Um, they've been adding lots of buffs. I should maybe do a catch-up video on that game. That's been pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, and Spider-Man got a, its new game plus mode, so I started that up. It's got a new difficulty, it's got a new game plus, where you can start with all of your skills, and so... You don't have to finish all the stupid trials, like, perfect, because you get another chance to get the, the tokens back, so I've just been doing that because I don't want to... There's, like, this drone chase thing, it's, like, <laughs> it's it's basically, like, a, a significantly better, but it's still a lot like the uh, go-through rings thing in S Superman 64, <laughs> um, and I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Um, yeah, other than that... Oh yeah, and I got some PSVR games. Uh, it, I haven't used my PSVR in a little while, but uh, I got some new games. Uh, I don't know if I'll do videos, because VR videos are kind of hard to do unless people watch them, because it's like, oh, well this is weird when you're not the one in the VR thing, so people don't watch. But uh, I'll check those out. High park Your making's very complicated. So, that's pretty much the week. Hope you had a good week too. Um... And, uh, oh, uh, patron, the next patron stream is actually coming up pretty soon. The next patron board game night, that's coming up in a couple weeks. Or no, it's, it's actually, it's actually next week, next Saturday, wow, it's, this, this month flew by. And that's a shame because I love freaking October, I love Spooktober. But, uh, yeah. And, um, well, I was gonna say one more thing. Oh, yeah! Um, I kind of wanted to make these a little bit more interactive, so I wanted to know what was the most fun thing you played this week? What was the, um, what was your crowning achievement? What did you find a new game? Did you get something you've been grinding for a long time? Um, I got Legend of Dark Witch 3 on 3DS, which uh, is a fantastic series. I didn't want to get it on 3DS because I'd rather play it on something else because the 3DS hurts my hands, but I got it. It's good. Um, and I also 5 star Vodka just today in uh, this very game, so that was exciting. My second, or no, third, uh, five-star super rare. Just got a very complicated brassiere mechanism that makes her boobs do that. It's cost thousands of dollars. <laughs> this game kind of, well, black tea looks pretty all right. This game has some very unusual, very unusual, shall we say, um, shall we say, physics in regarding to, uh, certain, certain, uh, situations. <laughs> Come on, guys. There's a lot of artists that can draw some really good boobs. I'm sure you don't need to be dealing with this. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> anyway, um... Oh, wait, let me remove this skin. I don't like, I don't like that skin. It's one of the few ascended ones that, like, the basic skin just looks uh, so much better. Oops, no. But I want to put that one. Anyway, that's pretty much the week. Remember to post a comment of your, you know, gaming achievement or new game of the week or whatever. I, I thought it'd be kind of fun to have, like, a weekly little... Some more. A little bit of chit-chat in the comment section. Oh, and a note about comments. I read all of my comments. A lot of people I know are used to, like... Creators that never read comments or like they try to spam your comment on the latest video so they read it uh, Don't do that. If you post a new comment um, I will definitely see it. I go through my comments and I remove comments that are terrible um, So don't post first and stuff like that. Just post a real comment and if there's any reason to reply at all I probably will um, and just know that your comments are read and just Post knowing that they will be read, so don't be like, I, I'm first on the video, guys. Like, why not post a genuine, thoughtful comment that, you know, makes somebody else want to reply to you, or makes me want to reply to you? Why not start a conversation, don't just be like, Burr, burr. That's, that's no good. Anyway, hope you have a good week, everybody.